so I sometimes use uh, this puppet, uh, you know, <laughs> when I you know, do some act uh, for YouTube, you know, this is called Mr. Brain. Yeah, I think it's called Mr. Brain, you know. <laughs> it's been some time uh, since I la posted my last episode of uh, Mr. Brain, <laughs> so <laughs> I don't remember. Anyway, so what is important is that this doll actually came from Thailand. Uh, should be something out here. I don't find it. Uh, this doll uh, was came from Thailand, and you know um, they were selling these goods uh, at a place. Uh, I went to Thailand to give a talk, and yeah, this is it. This is in Thai. I, I don't. Uh, I I don't know what it said. Maybe it said Pinto. I don't know. So bring back uh, really wonderful memories of China. Nowadays, uh, sadly, I, we can't really travel around. But anyway, so, so <laughs> when I looked at this doll, it kind of looks like me, so uh, hairdo and so on and so on. Uh, this general five-year-old attitude, you know, I, I always feel like I'm a five-year-old, mischievous, you know, <laughs> uh, nonchalant. And, Anyway, um, <clears throat> so I bought this doll, and I really love to go back to Thailand. And I hear that there are many things going on in Thailand, and uh, I hear that these activities and you know these, you know, uh, discussions about uh, what it is like to be. A good Thai person, uh, you know this. I I don't I, I really I could see that you know uh, when I went to Thailand I could see that uh, the people there really take the tradition seriously, um, and they are really proud of it. The former king was a really wonderful person. I learned uh, in Thailand that he dedicated his life to. Uh, the Thai people, I mean, to the better end of Thai people. And, you know, he re uh, did experimentations on rice fields and uh, fish, and, you know, he was an inventor, he traveled around the country, and he was a great king, and he was really, really respected by the peoples of Thai then. So, when he passed away, uh, that was a really a sad uh, episode in the Thai's history. I, I, I learned that from uh, my friends uh, and people I came to know in Thailand. Now, uh, time passes and we are in a different situation. And th the Thai people um, are moving on and they are feeling that there are certain things that they the country could be better off with, uh, and I, I do understand that. And I, you know, I, I'm not a, a Thai person, so I cannot really say um, things that uh, would be relevant from personal perspective because uh, I'm just a traveler. Although I do love Thai culture, Thai food, and Thai people, I cannot really say that I understand the implications fully but i do hope that you know it's probably pos true that uh there would be changes uh necessary to bring thailand forward but at the same time the great memory of um the former king and um that wonderful tradition of thai culture i i think these should not be uh, forgotten and you know for me, this doll, you know, it's just a tiny doll. And, you know, it's just a small thing, small uh, souvenir from Thailand. But this doll represents what um, Thailand is like. I mean, it's so warm, cute, uh, gentle, you know, considering, uh, well-meaning, and, you know, a, country with smiles and so I do hope that Thailand would remain like that 
uh, in years to come, no matter what's going to happen and necessitated in terms of changes uh, in the years to come. And I do believe that, you know, these traditions in Thailand would have some, you know, roles to play in, the, in Thailand, in the great country, in the coming years, when uh, circumstances of the contemporary world might uh, cause some changes, you know, um, I think some things would remain as important uh, as today. Uh, you know, these great traditions and the sheer continuity of the Thai culture.